Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, so you were as well. We'll get to building. So, we will. Uh, Where have you gone? I went to go. I had to go get cobble, and I don't know who else has it there, so I'm just going to steal some from you. Yeah, I guess I should have left. Huh, there's a phantom in the nether now. Um, I guess I should have left some of the uh, stuff at uh, the witch farm area. I cleared all those chests, but we could have used some of that stuff right now, actually. Um, so you were asking earlier uh, about how the you know, the house was house stuff was going. Right. Yeah. How is and it? so the, we're done with our part. Now we're just waiting until the close. But I will tell you, it is the scariest thing when you wire money to a random account number. Yeah. Because that's what the title company needs, and you just have no confirmation. It's just gone from my account, and <laughs> I can't. See uh, anything else about it? Yeah. And I mean, we're talking like because we're in DC and, you know, we have to pay 20% of our down payment. We're talking a down payment going yeah. out of our accounts that's uh, it's pretty greater high. than most, you know, many people's full houses. Right. Yeah. Recently, I had to get a cashier's check for like $36,000. And uh, I, I, I was just like, I was so terrified because, you know, basically they're like, all right, now that money doesn't exist in your account anymore. It's in this check, basically. And so mm -hmm. it's just like this scary thing where it's like, this piece of paper is worth so much fucking money. I better not fuck this up. Uh, because it's uh, checks are something. Like there might baffled, be something that could be done with the cashier check to like void it, I guess. I don't know. Because that's so it's, it's so different from a normal check, right? Uh, No. It What's is because they it? pull the money out of your account before they write it. Oh, oh, I see, I see. It's like literally backed by the money. It's not yeah. like you're waiting to be deposited. You know, I got you. Right. Um, by the way, you, we didn't have much cobble over here. Oh, there's a bunch. Let me grab some. I was uh, looking at the chest. I thought you must have grabbed already. No, I couldn't find any. Um, yeah, so it's it's weird because like with this wire, I just know the money has been taken out of our accounts. Right. And I'm not the one who can see if it showed up in the right account. You know, I feel like I'm doing a cryptocurrency transfer where yeah. you just go to a random number that you're hoping is the right one. Like, it's weird. But checks in general, I will tell you that I don't understand at all. He doesn't own I didn't check this clearly. Uh, because you have basically written on the bottom of your checkbook is an account number and a routing number. Mm -hmm. And then there's a check number. And some places will make you do you you can do an online check to them by or like my power company doesn't let me pay them by or it's the water company I think won't let me pay them by credit card, but you can still do it online. You just have to connect it with your account number and your routing number. Right. And it's like okay, once you have that information, you basically can just like you have access to my account at this point. Yeah, it's kind of weird, like. Because the routing number, you know, we all know that. Anyone that banks with that bank knows that bank's yeah, routing number, so right? You, if you look so, at, like, like if know, I just modify the routing number, it's just right there. It yeah, shows, right. It shows you it's the same for everybody. So, like, it feels like it'd be super easy to, like, for fraud, right? Like, I mean, if well, I just change the last number on my account number, that's probably someone else's account number, right? Sure. Well, sure. And then the places that let you pay by check online, they ask you for the account number, the routing number, and a check number. Well, check numbers start a fucking 001 and go up in your checkbook. And I had to buy checks for the first time in years because I dealt with somebody who the the department, the DMV here only takes check or money order. Really? And I was like, let me just get order some checks from somewhere, have some checks in case I need them for something. Because you randomly come across situations where you need checks every so often. So I get these checks in the mail. It asks you because it knows that people don't want to be that obvious and start at one. You can say check number starting number. Yeah, so I, I think like, the standard is 1,000 so, now. Well, I, I put in like 250 or something like that. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay. And then I found something that I had to pay for on line with a check. I don't remember what it was. And I was like, I just got these checks. I only ordered 25 checks like to make sure I just have a <laughs> only checks 25. to get by. Only 25 checks. To make sure I have checks to get by because checks are fucking expensive to order. Like, I, I, it's the dumbest thing in the world. I was like, I don't want to waste one of these because it says you're supposed to write the check number and then write on the check and void it so that you just have a record of like what it was for and all this stuff, you know, on that check. So I was like, screw this. They're not going to know what number I told them to start printing my checks at. So I just said 249. 
was the check number. Uh huh. That went through just fine. Yeah, yeah. The check numbers aren't important at all. Like Which I lost my checkbook. My, but that means they just I just gave them my account number and my routing number because that's the other two and for the only information that connects the check to anything. So if anybody ever looks at a check of yours, a, a, like even a voided check. They have all the information they need to transfer shit out of your account. Right. I don't understand that at all. I mean, if anyone looks at your credit card number, they have the information to use your credit but card. But they have to at least look at both sides of the credit card number, right? Not if not American Express. They put all that shit on the same side. Oh, that seems dumb. Yeah. You're, 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 it's a four-digit code with American Express, but it's on the front. But it's not like both sides. Well, it's not hard to what? turn something you know over. What? I guess both of mine are now on the back of my... Yeah, my, my recent but, PayPal card but, is like that. But I do, I give a credit card to somebody, and you're right, I give it to them, or I'm supposed to use the machine myself, but they will have it for a few seconds. But I don't give my credit card to somebody and leave. If I pay with something by check, I give it to them. That's true. Um, But, I mean, the example you're given about online is that you're just putting that information online, and now they have it. Um, true. Which true. is the same. Yeah, so that is the same as a credit card. You're right. Yeah, I just don't understand how checks are secure in the least. It just baffles me. I guess they're only as secure as your information is. Um, I just killed a giant slime that spawned into medium slimes and then small slimes and did not get a single slime ball. Wow. You sure? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. One just floated up into my inventory. I think they might have sank all the way to the bottom of the water. And then they're floating up slowly. Makes sense. That was really weird. How far out do we want this boat to be? Um. Well, it kind of wants to be docked, right? Um. So not too far. Kind of close. I might already go too far then. Um. But I mean, we could make it bigger if we need to. So you want it big, far enough out where? That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, and then do we want what level? Here, here's of the, the thing. Do we though. want the uh, the results to be displayed on? Maybe the top deck. I don't know. Well, I don't. We don't want the results on the top deck because that would have to transfer items up. Yeah, we want to have like the mast or something covering up the contraption. I'm a little worried. We're can totally. And, and ruining Justin's view here, though. We can just go and do it back on the land then and ignore the boat thing and move. I it. like the boat it's thing. I just think we should do it maybe further this way. Like the boat swim? should be like right here. Why can't I swim? <laughs> Am I swimming on your screen? Yeah, you're swimming. Oh, okay. I don't feel like going into swimming mode ever. Yeah, I say right here is where the boat goes. We just fuck up this wall somewhat and stuff. Look at your guy. Oh, I need to. I just fished for food and I need to cook it. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't really set up any good food stuff, so. I've been eating mostly fish because I fish on stream a lot. Okay, and then I'm trying to. I'm trying to think like. If we want, how how tall is this boat going to be? Uh, it's too tall before the deck. Who we need is Doll. That man built so many boats last season. That's true. I guess we can make a ramp that goes to it. Oh because yeah, because that's yeah, like yeah. The, the you know disembarkation ramp or whatever. Right, right. Um. So if this was like the first. The floor of the first level. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the main level, and then. So, uh, yeah. my daughter's school district decided yesterday that they're not going to open. They were we, were we were supposed to open. We we're supposed to open this week. Monday is supposed to be the first day of school. Then they changed it and said next Monday will be the first day of school, and this week will just be focused on getting devices out to everyone. And um, then it changed because it was supposed to be five days on, you know, just normal school for those that decided to come. 80% of people in my county signed up for in-person school. 80%? Um, yeah. And uh, so then they were like, shit, that's too many people. 
Um, so then it went to the kids are only going to be in school Monday, Tuesday for group A and Thursday, Friday for group B remote learning the other three days and everyone's remote learning on Wednesdays. Um, and so that, that was, that was the plan. And that was, like I said, supposed to start, we really supposed to start today or yesterday, um, Monday. And then it changed to next Monday so that this week could be more about like orientation and getting devices out and all that stuff. Um, but then to yesterday they decided, fuck, we just can't open the school. <laughs> uh, so now it's going to be the end of September will be the first day of actual in school learning. Everyone will be remote learning starting next week. Um, so what they did, so whenever the school ended last year, they did a thing where like, you know, if you, cause all the kids had stuff at school, cause it just kind of ended so abruptly that like, they just didn't go back. So they didn't get a chance to bring all their shit home. Um, so they did a thing where like, all right, you got, everyone needs to come pick up all their shit basically. And, but no one can come in the school because of coronavirus. So everyone's going to, um, go through the car line where you normally pick kids up and we'll hand out your shit. Right. So that was, that was cool. It worked out fine. Um, and so, but today was device pickup day. So go get your Chromebooks and your school books and all the materials to start school. That I had to go indoors. They wouldn't do it outdoors in um in the in the school line. I don't know I don't even know why. Because they still made you go through the school line, the car pickup line, which was just awful. Cause like they did it from nine to twelve, and I got in line, the the school line at uh around 10 a.m. and I didn't get into the school until 1230. I started getting worried I was gonna run out of gas because I like, I went up there with like a quarter of a tank and uh just sat there parked because the AC was running for hours waiting to get up to the actual building. Cause you well, you drove all the way to you finally got to the building, then you got out and went inside. But before you go inside you had to sign a thing saying you don't have a fever and all this. Which I don't understand the point of that. Like why do we need I don't know. I I understand the point of the temperature taking and all that, but why do I have to actually fill out a form writing my temperature on there and saying that uh, I don't have a cough and all that? I don't understand the point of that waiver. Um, do you know why they would be requiring that? Just like a no. physical copy? No, I have no idea. Because most places aren't writing that stuff down at all. Because right. then it becomes like, like, then there's a requirement to like save that information for so long. That's why most places aren't doing it, actually. Mm. Well, yeah, I guess the school's got a shitload of paperwork they're doing something with for who knows how long. Um, so then I finally get to go in the school after doing the, the screening and everything um, and get my daughter's laptop and all this. And uh, they had it mostly automated. Well, not automated in the terms that like no one wasn't there, but like they had like all the like labels and stuff printed. So they just easily put like a sticker on my Chromebook with like my daughter's login and password for her Google account to log into the school stuff, which didn't work. Got home and... Uh, went to set everything up and typed in the username and password. And I'm hoping that I was a special case and that, that this is not a widespread problem because if it is, I just can't imagine the nightmare that they're gonna have to deal with because on the, on the paperwork that is described, like how to log in and all this, it was also like a help number. And I called the help number and that guy was just like, Oh, who I don't, I don't do anything with username and passwords, man. <laughs> and so he was like well you got to call the school and so i called the school and then like it was just this whole rigmarole to get to the right person that could even help they're me like, they're like just come wait in line again tomorrow yeah no i mean i, I had a, i was worried they were gonna be like come back um because you know, i also had my daughter with me so my daughter had to sit there in the car for three fucking hours too and then then she had to get left in the car because only one person was allowed no kids were allowed to go in the school which is kind of weird because the kids are gonna go to school soon right um they, they thought they were gonna be there today um <clears throat> but yeah, uh pretty dumb but yeah, the kids weren't allowed to go in, so they had to sit out in the car. Um, and then, like, tomorrow night is virtual open house, so my daughter gets to meet her teacher virtually. I don't know how the hell that's going to go. It's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, they, we have uh, – I just got an email from – Ryan, you were pre-K three. The teacher wants to meet all the students as well this week mm. virtually. And it's like you're going to meet the three-year-olds on like virtually. Like, on all yeah, all I, 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 I really wonder how some of this stuff's going to go. So what do you got going on here? Sorry, so I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to lay out like the floor plan, not obviously final product. But I started realizing 
if like this was the display of the win, if that's what it is right here, so we can start building behind it. Like this is the floor, the first floor of the ship. This is the wall, the, the where the ship ends on this side. We'll have a little ramp that goes this way for the you know mm -hmm. to board it and everything. How are we displaying this? Um, I don't know. What do you mean? How do we get the items to display? Just, just sit there. Honestly, what we probably want to do is we probably want to have a Vanna White. Though, right? We want to, we want a Vanna White. I think. You need I, somebody actually to pull the lottery every day that shows the items. Well, it's not going to be a daily lottery, right? That's going to be a maybe a weekly lottery or biweekly. There's, but there's you, no way that a dispenser like can force something into a frame or something. An right? item frame? I don't think so. I mean, that's that. That's what the Vanna White would do. She'd be standing there, or you know, it'd be one of us. How so, do you make an item frame? Uh, leather and sticks, probably. I don't have any, don't have any leather. Damn. Um, I'll go get some that's leather. Fun. Might be still be some cows over here, actually. I'll just kill one of them. I can't even. Oh, wait. But, uh, you know, aside from this, so, uh, the county over for me, which is the county Raleigh is in, so the, the state capital and all that, they, um, they've decided, you know, last week or last month, like two, three weeks ago, something like that, they decided they were going to postpone school as well. And so I was kind of surprised my, my county was still so gun ho about like, no, we're fucking doing it. Let's go. Um, but they finally decided to do it as well. But here's the thing. My daughter's dance is like, we're fucking going a a August 24th. Let's go. Um, and not only that, but they've, they've said they, 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 they did a survey, uh, of the 406 dancers that go there. Um, so 406, I should add might be more than 406, 406 people responded to their survey about what they wanted to do, like smaller classes, no dance at all, all these sort of things. Right. And, uh, one of the questions was about masks. Like, do you want to wear masks while dancing? And um, there was uh, eight people that wanted to wear masks while dancing of the 406 that responded. Well, I, I understand, like, it's hard to do physical activity in a mask. So I understand what they're saying about it. And it well, it's interesting because we're in a gymnastics class, too, with a uh, Jackson one that has, is going on in person. And the kids, it's a mix on if they wear masks or not. Granted, it's for three- and four-year-olds. I don't know if that changes anything, mm. but... It's not a mix really. on them wearing masks and, and, you know, Jack's a mix on if he wears his mask or not. Jack likes to wear his mask a lot of times, but then when he starts running around, he takes it off. And you can tell it's because it's uncomfortable when he's doing stuff. Yeah, I mean, even whenever I like today, when I was standing in line in the school for 45 fucking minutes, um, my, my my face started getting kind of like wet from just like the moisture yeah. of my breath. Do you, you, know? do you, have, a, do you have cloth masks? That yeah, I've, I've, I've been wearing my cloth mask a lot just because I'm trying not to waste like other masks. But man, surgical masks are so much nicer than cloth masks because they are so freaking hot. Maybe it's just the one I have. It's like double layered. Yeah, and it is. If I have to wear it for more than an hour, it is just like a, a, a pure like wetness inside. That right. Is, uh, yeah, that's basically what I was dealing with today. Um. I don't know if this is right. Let's see. It is. Okay. Here's the item frame. Put it like just, oh, is it just putting it on front of this? I'm trying to think of any good way of displaying something. Though there's never a way to get it off then, right? What do you like mean? Somebody has to physically say you could never automate this. Oh, I? yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> right on through that item frame i kind of expected that that was what was going to happen but you know oh bye bye gold uh but here's the thing that i've been reading the more strenuous activity six feet's not even good enough like, no i and I, I agree with you i absolutely agree i, I understand the the problems with it, but I also understand where people who do that are coming from. No, I mean, I get, I get that it's a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to send my daughter. In, I mean, so the, basically they're like, you know, we're going to, everyone's going to be six feet apart. What I don't understand is I think the dance should just fucking stick to virtual for right now. I don't know why they're so adamant. And here's the problem. Like I, we could just be like, all right, you know what? We're just not going to go to dance anymore. We're just done with dance. But my daughter's been going since she was two years old. So this is, you know, she's been there for, this is going to be her seventh year going. She's in the petite competition group. Um, so she, you know, she goes to the competitions yeah. and all that you stuff. Wood on you. Yeah. Um, 
And if she stops, she's out. Um, so it's not like, well, we're just going to take this year off. Uh, if you, if you stop, you lose, like you're no longer part of the petite company, um, or whatever. Uh, you can possibly rejoin the company with an audition in the future if they have room sort of thing. Um, so it's like, it kind of, yeah, it does. It sucks a lot. Cause like, I mean, she wants to go to dance for one thing. Um, and I would be totally okay with it, I think, if they were all going to wear masks. But now knowing that they're going to wear masks during warm up and then take them off and dance, but they're going to be six feet apart. But I don't, I don't think that's good enough because they're going to be doing strenuous activity where everything I've read says if you're going to be doing strenuous activity, you're going to be heavier breathing in an enclosed space. You need to be much further apart than six feet. Yeah. The, the other parts I still don't understand, like, because we're still learning a lot about COVID, despite what people say that think that we know everything about it somehow. Uh, but they still talk about the serology tests and the antibody tests and how they're, they don't detect that stuff after like a month. Mm -hmm. Yet there's more and more reports coming out showing like, oh, reports are, you know, studies are showing like a long term immunity from this thing. It's like, I don't understand how you're getting this long term immunity if you don't even have antibodies anymore. Well, I don't know how you can test long term immunity whenever there's not there's no such thing as long term yet. So, uh, I think they're talking about a couple months at this point for long term immunity. Like, so because we keep striving for this stupid vaccine, which I understand. Like, I'm man of science, man of medicine. I get what vaccines are good and all that stuff. Yet, also talking about how antibodies don't last more than a month, and I don't understand. Well, there's the more to a vaccine than just the anti antibodies, too, though. Like, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but you are. You should know this. Yeah, vaccines. Ma vaccines are not just antibodies. Like they're not. You're not, you're not just getting a dose of antibodies and expecting your white no, no, blood cells to fight no, off. No, no. Once your getting your body that. builds antibodies because so if you get. A oh yeah, no, vaccine, I'm sorry, not a dose. You're getting a, but you're not. You're not just getting a small dose of the virus and then expecting antibodies to take care of it from there. There's other things that make up a vaccine. But that's why you get something. Haven't you ever heard of titers? Like our like our body is constantly getting rid of the antibodies that we otherwise you would just have a, a buildup in your blood your blood would be like fucking oil um, where you wouldn't no, no, the, the the antibodies are what know how to fight a disease I know that I understand that Jeff but like they go away yeah, as well sure you're right you're right they will go away things like I had to get a uh, hepatitis booster because mm -hmm. I had to get a titer drawn before I started nursing school and those wear off after like many years. So you might have to get a booster shot to rebuild those antibodies up. Mm -hmm. But you draw titers to check those out, which is like a serology test. I, and I'm not a, uh, an immune, immune doctor, uh, an, an infectious disease doctor uh, or nurse. So I don't know 100% of what I'm saying is not like actual. Like, I know this is factual and this is the way it works. But my understanding of it is you're checking for those antibodies when you do a titer. If you don't have them, you give a booster. With the covid we're talking within a month, you no longer have those antibodies. The reason you have to get a booster if you don't have a titer, if you're, you're a negative titer because you're showing not antibodies to like hepatitis is because you're not immune to it anymore. That's why you have to do the booster shot to make sure you have the antibodies that can fight it. So if you don't have the antibodies, you don't have immunity to it. I don't think that's 100% accurate. I mean... Clearly, it must not be because I'm missing something with this striving for anti or with striving for the vaccine as like what we need to move forward. Yet the knowledge that they don't think the antibodies in the serology tests are going to be positive because you won't show for them after a month. I clearly am missing something. Uh, and, part of so that, what, 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 what upsets doc. me in this conversation is that I've read I've had the knowledge that you seek in the past and I'm trying to find it again because i've read about how vaccines work beyond the antibodies and uh it's just like the old mtvs beyond the music yeah right? it is That's exactly the they just they get the like music. fucking Polly shore and other people to explain <laughs> vaccines basically and talk about their drug addiction yeah <laughs> like, i'm telling you if i hadn't done so much heroin i would have i would have died to aids man i don't know just throwing out words <laughs> yeah so while you're looking for whatever yeah i guess for the time being would we build this around four chests being the deposit chests for the final 
Uh, yeah, that could. I mean, honestly, I mean, the item could just all four items could drop in a certain spot, like right here where Vanna stands, and then Vanna grabs the item and goes and puts it in an item frame. Not even in four different chests, just in. Yeah, it could just be chest. one, right? Could be one, and then item frames. Yeah, and then four item frames. All there, but either way, these could be the four spots, whether they be item frames where yeah. you place the item at the end right. of the day. I just, I'm building toward this being, well, I guess if you did that, Vanna could like, well, no, you want her to be visible, right? I was yeah. like, she could be like underground or, oh crap, <laughs> or behind a wall. <laughs> uh, <right. laughs> or we could build tr death trap doors. for Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder, man, with the new target block, we probably could make some really cool, um, like uh, the carnival where you throw the, the, uh, that, the baseball and take somebody out thing. Uh, uh, dunk tank? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just, is that you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I want to see if I can yeah, hit you. I was going to say, that was like a super, like, <laughs> four hearts on that. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I had hit you. I just did, though. Just just shot you. I just want to make sure I clean up this mess in front of Justin's house, because we already built a monstrosity that's going to stay there until at least Thursday. <laughs> right. Um, have the last episodes of, uh... Our map gone out. Were people super upset with how we cheesed the last tool? I'm, I am trying to remember if I how 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 if I posted them or not. I'm pretty sure I did. So they must have. Huh. I don't remember a single comment. No one had anything to say. Did you put yours out yet? Are you? Yeah. No? no, I did. Absolutely. Um, I just don't. I don't. I don't ever look at the. I don't look at YouTube at all anymore. I don't, yeah, I have no idea if, well, I'm, I'm about to check on my, on my episode in just a second because now I'm curious because yeah, we were talking about getting ready for people to be, see if they'd be upset if we did that or not. Yeah. Uh, I'm really curious. Well, we've got seven comments. Hold on. Let's check out what these are. I'm watching it hard for sure. The damn map is hardcore. You got to carry a goddamn bakery on you. Jeez, dude's here with the spawners. Uh, where, where's the finale, however, he says. Did I forget the finale? I hear something. Oh, that's you. Um, oh, was that the episode before the last episode? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I did not post. I never posted the finale. <laughs> Uh, Jeff. And this should have gone out by now. Did I just never schedule it? That's what I'm a little confused about. I yeah, the YouTube sorting thing is just. I know that's why I won't look mine up right now because there's no way I have to go through 35 fucking pages of Divine Journey just to get to videos that are going out now, and so that's why I'm not right. trying to look mine that, up. Yeah, so I can't tell if I just if I didn't schedule it right i mean i can tell i didn't schedule but it's like but three below the list of the other one even though i get the whole thing doesn't make sense um yeah i need to post it so i guess i'll I'm trying to find tomorrow. mine through my okay here's the finale got 1.7 thousand views 1.7 thousand one interesting way to put that <laughs> Is that even is that even the right number? Is seventeen hundred? Is one point seven thousand seventeen hundred? Yeah, I, I, it would be one point seven thousand. That's, that's an interesting way to put yeah. that. I'm just gonna publish mine right now, guys. While we're talking, this is live. When you if you see the date this is published, is when it was recorded. Like it's, it's published. All right, I got and sixteen now, comments. Let's see what they are. This series was a roller coaster of mostly lows. <laughs> <laughs> If if it gets to the point where people don't want to run the map as intended, then the map maker has failed, in my honest opinion. You shouldn't be making players feel they need to do these things to complete their goal. It just takes away from the fun. Um, and then someone responded to that with, This is generally considered to be one of the easiest modern CTMs. Them struggling so much isn't really the map maker's fault. Tons of people have beaten it the intended way. <laughs> okay. I, the, another, another person responded to him. I I suck at TMs, and I've completed this particular CTM a few times. I I call bullshit, Johnny Johnny NR five. No one goes back and plays a CTM multiple times. You're a liar. Uh, <laughs> Especially this one. If if I can do it, it is easy. Okay. Um, let's see. Johnny also left his own comment. He says. 
Uh, if oh my god, this is just the longest comment ever. Um, if you hadn't cheated back at the castle at the lake, you would have had an enchanting table. It was in a chest near the top of the castle, just below where you bridge to get to the wall. Uh, in that castle, you would also be able to collect a lot of hay, making the f no. It doesn't make the food situation better. We had an infinite amount of bread, motherfucker. You just had to eat a thousand goddamn loaves to stay full. We didn't. Yeah, we, we weren't didn't lacking run, in we bread. We didn't run out of the initial supply that I got over many hours of AFKing one day. It's just yeah, you had to keep eating it yeah yeah uh, i'm not gonna read the rest of this comment it's very long but thank you for leaving it johnny um colin says it was fun watching you two play this map regardless uh leave it to J someone else uh, leave it to jeff to find the danger first the danger zone first i guess where you teleported into the yeah, yeah. <laughs> like completely randomly because a zombie ray stepped on a plate above me i had no idea what happened uh this guy said i'm only 20 minutes in when I played, I built a cow farm for better food. Yeah, we should have done that. That was honestly a big, that was the yeah, big, because we did better find, we did find two cows. Yeah. That we could have done that with. Right. They were uh, separated, but we, uh, but yeah. Um, last area and Jeff has still wearing chain mail pants. Well, what can you do? Um, did, was there a way to get better stuff? I mean, I guess we did have the, the iron and if we had, had got that enchanted, we could have enchanted ourselves, Right. Um, uh, good ever learns that you only need torches every 16 blocks, eight minutes. He would save a lot of torches. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. I guess I played too many torches. Basically, you were spam clicking torches. Uh, and because uh, you know, we should have just while being attacked by all those things counted exactly 16 blocks before putting them down. Wow, this comment has three likes. I wish G Jay Sano and Good would break up. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, I do have. I have had a guy commenting on every video I post because it's only a, it's only videos with you that I post anymore. Uh, no more guano, please. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm curious though. Uh, I want to watch other people's playthroughs of this now. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I just I'm assume not willing. That, but, yeah. I just assume that this guy has more maps. That this was like a starter map, and the rest of them probably get better if he's got some popularity in the community. Yeah. Um. I and and, and the map wasn't terrible. Terrible. It was right. just unbalanced. Yeah. Uh, right. in my opinion, and I would assume that he got better. But now those comments that are left there make me feel like. Well, they seem to be a complete opposite of what you were saying. Well, I just jumped off like you did on accident. Um, they seem to be complete the complete opposite of what you were saying, the type of comments you were getting. That's true. They, they are. I mean, maybe the people who watch me for the most part like me, and people who watch you might not <laughs> I, like I think you. you may have hit the nail. <laughs> it's, it's possible. Um, uh, and I definitely got a, a BB Garnett always there for me in every video. Keep up the great work. I love that guy. Every video, he comments the same thing. Wow. Thank you, BB uh, Garnett. It's probably yeah, a bot. BB Garnett, it's awesome. not even a real person. That. just a bot. Yeah. That's fine. It makes me feel good, mm -hmm. even if you're a bot. It makes me feel good. Um, they do tell me I need to get my spam clicking under control. I must spam click when I fight people. Oh, you still got that old uh, style. They're changing the combat all around right now, um, so who knows what we're going to end up with. They're doing all kinds of wild sweeping changes and then rollbacks and then more wild sweeping changes and then rollbacks. Um, on what now? The combat. They're doing a huge combat test to modify oh. the way combat works. Interesting. So who knows what we're going to end up with. Like oh, the, can we go back to when you get to shoot like 30,000 <laughs> arrows all at one time? I So they changed the thing where the longer you hold down the bow when you pull it back, the less damage it does when you let go. You can't just hold and... Right. Right. Yeah, it's actually let it go. Um, let it go. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, we need to get out of here. We need to let it go. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on this next time. I didn't do much this time. I kind of watched and talked about school stuff, but, but yeah, and I think this is not going to be that hard to do. Uh, maybe. No, it's more just more like getting the right layout. Is yeah. Right. Really what it comes down to. All right. Well, I'll see cool. you next time. Bye everybody. See ya.